Good morning traders, welcome to the Phoenix Blue morning update for Tuesday the 26th of April. I'm Tom Collin and I'll be taking you through the markets and the news this morning. We're going to be talking about why we need to be patient before the um, central bank statements due later in the week uh, and in doing this preserving our capital. Okay, well, let's look at the news itself first. Today we have uh, US dollar core durable goods at 1.30 p.m. We've got the uh, Bank of Canada Governor Pollos speaking at 1.55 and then consumer confidence from the states at 3 p.m. What we're really looking forward to um, and why we are recommending patience and being patient ourselves is we're waiting for the FMC statement tomorrow night expectation is no rate rise no announcements but what's actually said there is being watched very very closely um, the market is anticipating a change in language that suggests or, or looking for a change in language that suggests there will be potentially a rate rise at the june meeting um, before we actually go on and look at um, the, uh, the dollar and, and markets relating directly to that, we'll look, just have a quick look over at Asia. Well, we had a quiet session around the world yesterday and then overnight, again, it's been relatively quiet. This is the Shanghai Composite, the um, Chinese equities market still hovering around these 2015 lows. Over on the Nikkei, we've had a, another bearish day um, above these 2015 lows here. Um, but still not a lot to talk about in that respect. Over on the dollar, yesterday we talked about being uh, a, having closed above the $95 level and we were looking for price to push on uh, in a bullish direction to confirm dollar strength. Unfortunately, we didn't get that confirmation. Um, we've had a fallback down below the $95 level. Um, this is why we need to be patient. We need for the uh, Fed to come out with the wording potentially that allows um, or causes the dollar to show true strength by closing above this level and continuing um, to strengthen um, and will be dependent on what is said in that statement. So in this scenario yesterday, we did take a small trade reliant on dollar strength, um, which was a loser. We did that because we were hoping that, that there would be follow through on that. We didn't get it. We got a pullback. So we're now sat predominantly on the sidelines um, uh, waiting for the Fed to um, say what they say at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Over on the yen, the US dollar JPY um, cr currency, um, we have seen... Yen weakness last week following statements from the Bank of Japan. We're waiting for statements from the Bank of Japan or we're waiting for the official statement on Thursday this week. Anticipation here is, is that we'll get some form of additional quantitative easing and maybe even negative interest rate loans which with the intention of weakening the yen still further. Um, with yesterday the dollar uh, weakening as well, we saw a pullback uh, into these levels with an order here at about 110.70, um, which is a reduced risk order. We are looking to play on the or the yen weakness at this point um, and potentially dollar strength coming through after the Fed announcement. Now we are talking about being patient. Uh, here's the Euro USD weekly chart. Um, if we look back a couple of weeks, we had a nice bearish week here. We made money on the euro and on the Swissy through this period here. What we saw last week, however, was a much more volatile market price rose and fell back down again within the week. Um, we're now at a, a weekly level here. And as you can see, I've marked on a, a number of significant weekly levels further down uh, on the downside on the euro. Uh, the thought process being here, be patient. Let's see one of these levels be broken uh, on dollar strength. Wait for the pullback into the level and then start trading uh, this market short. The reason for showing you so many levels is there will be a lot of opportunity in this market and many other markets as and when we get confirmation 
this is why we want to be patient. There's a potential to make um, tidy profits through a dollar strength move uh, with a falling euro. But let's wait and see that happen. Because we've had a very volatile month, we've had a number of losses. We're comfortable with those losses because we set ourselves a limit as, as to how much we're willing to lose each week, um, and how much we're comfortable to lose. Um, however, having said that, there still comes a point at which we decide that, no, we're going to wait for confirmation, and this is what we're waiting for at this moment in time. We are in a trade on the S&P. Um, we're short the S&P. Yesterday's bar, for much of the day, this was a uh, effectively a bullish uh, sorry, a bearish engulfing bar looked really, really um, positive for our short trade. However, coming into the close, price has pulled back significantly and um, the downside uh, signal is no longer there. This market, as with uh, all the currency markets, will be waiting for the Fed to signal rate rises or potential rate rises. If we get a signal that gives any indication that June rate rises are, are definitely on the cards, we'll see price fall. Uh, alternatively, if we don't get a change in the language and the market feels that we're not being told that there's potential for a June rate rise, I'm sure we'll see price rise um, to new highs here. We'll get stopped out on this trade. It is a trade reliance um, on the Fed suggesting that um, there will be a, a rise in rates through June. OK, so patience is the watchword. Um, capital preservation, let's not risk our hard-earned money uh, in the markets when we don't have a degree of certainty or de a degree of comfort in terms of direction. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Not a particularly long uh, video for obvious reasons. If you're interested in the way we trade with clean charts, etc., 40 pips, stop losses, please just email us at info at phoenixblue.co.uk. Uh, okay, that's the end of the video for today. We look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye now.